content creation is quite an undertaking, especially when you don't just want to put posts out there, but actually bring new clients, get booked and use content to help you scale your business. Many steps are involved and often get overlooked or simply not done because we don't have the time. Now, let me tell you, chances are you actually do have the time. You are just not using it the most efficient way. And that's exactly why I'm recording this video for you today. So you can see the most efficient way to create your content, get it out there, get you known, get you booked and help you scale your business. here. I'm Yvonne with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. So if you're ready to streamline your business to skyrocket your sales, you are perfect right here and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every week when I upload a new automation or streamlining video for you to make your life as digital entrepreneur just a little bit easier. One of the first things I want to talk about is stop using a project management system as your content calendar. I have seen so many people as of late trying to use ClickUp to build their content. This is not what ClickUp is built for and it's completely at this point in time inefficient and a waste of your time. Don't go into doing social media content in ClickUp and every single post gets its own little task and you schedule them every day in your ClickUp calendar and create content that way. That is not an efficient use of your time and not a way to build a visual content calendar at all. Now that I'm done with this rant, your job in ClickUp is to lay out the job. It's the task management. It's getting things done, getting the graphics built, getting the deadline set, getting the team assigned. That's what ClickUp is for not the content creation in itself. Now, I want to show you today my workflow that does not just include ClickUp to create content, but actually also includes Airtable as well as a go up holds. And on a side note, Easel really helps you a lot make this job also easier on the graphic design thing. And Easel also makes it really simple, integrated with this whole workflow to easily and fast create your graphics alongside your written content. As a little overview before we deep dive into the whole how-to, ClickUp is where your task management is gonna happen. That's where due dates get set, that's where your team gets assigned, that's where you track information. All of that is happening in ClickUp. Now, me personally, I love Airtable for the content creation and collection. And I will explain later why we are doing this in Airtable. Google Sheets will do the job too. For scheduling, we use Agora polls and and we are lucky enough that Agora Pulse allows embedding. But again, more on that during the video. And then for the graphic side of things and generating your images and generating all of the graphics that go alongside with your content, we use Easel. Let's dive onto my screen so I can show you how all of these actually feed in with each other. You can see right here, this is my marketing space in my workspace. Now, as you can see, I have set up multiple folders by content type. My content starts with a YouTube video. That's where everything starts. I'm not starting with a written blog post or any of that. My initial content creation happens as a video, which then becomes a blog post, which then gets made into multiple social media posts. Also mentioned in the newsletter, as you can see in year two, I mention my automate to dominate live show that's happening every other week on YouTube and Facebook, because that's another video that now becomes content. And right down here is a new project of ours that I'm going to be paying more attention to, which is the PR side of things. Looking at this, how this is all set up, we have upcoming, this is videos for the future, blog posts for the future, lives that are coming up where the guests are already scheduled, social media where we have plans in there that are coming up, things that are happening right now going into those do lists, and things that we just kind of dropped the ball on that we need to catch up on going into the backlog. 
And all of these folders are set up the exact same way and the same layout. And when you look into the actual folder and task management, and let's move that into the board view, you can see it starts with a to do, it's in process, meaning somebody is working on it, proof, meaning it comes back to me and I need to check that everything is fine, put the final touches on it and get it ready. And once it's done, done, it goes into complete. That's how you set up your statuses, set up those lists. And now let's look into the big space. What else we need to set up over here? We got the list view, we got the board view, we got the first embed, which is the Airtable embed for our content creation base. Now, why do we use Airtable? Why not just put every post in here as a task? Agora Polls allows you for bulk upload, meaning you can download these spreadsheets as a CSV file and bulk upload that to Agora Polls. Why is that important? Because that means you can schedule a month worth of content in a snap. Upload all of the posts for the month and be done with it. This is why I'm still using Airtable as the content creation base. Not to mention, I easily can go back into an old base or into an old month and be like, oh, there's an evergreen content. I still need to pull something. Um, I'm having a rough month trying to make it all happen. I didn't have the time. I have a repository of all of the past posts that are happening. Easy to see, easy to find what was evergreen. I easily can copy and paste those and fill in to another month where I already have generated content. Or I can go back and pull the content for a certain campaign we were running. It just makes sense. Not to mention, we also collect common links in here as well as affiliate links for my VA to easily find those. So as you can see, this base right here, we have the post right there. We then need to add the date for our Goa Pulse to be able to read it, to schedule it specifically on a date if you do not use the content cues. What time, is it evergreen or is it not evergreen? If it's a fixed date, like a holiday or something, we also add that fixed date in here to make sure it gets scheduled on that. The link that's going to be shared on a Goa Pulse, what kind of topic is it? Is it related to one of my blog posts? Is it related to a holiday? As well as notes, just if something doesn't quite work right if it's supposed to. And then also in the setup, Agora Polls allows us to embed the tool right in here, which means you don't have to leave. You are in ClickUp, you are in your workflow, you are in your process, and you just go to the tab and you see your Agora Polls right there. You might need to log in again, but come on, that's the smallest of your issues, right? And with that, we don't use the calendar much often. You can see your calendar with all the posts as you can see right here. Up here in the settings, you can choose how you would like the colors made up. Do you want them by list? Do you want them by status? Do you want them by custom field? Now that you have the rough overview, how do we process with this workflow? And if you would like to make your life easier, Easier, there might be a link for you right in the description. Now that you have an idea of how all of this is set up, let's deep dive into how to actually use this. The content creation task management is the biggest issue when it comes to these things because this is where things get lost. This is where you waste your time. This is where things don't get done, where VAs don't know what to do. So let's deep dive into this. As you can see, this list is set up by the workflow all of these content pieces go through from recording your video to editing the video to the blog post being done and not having a status at all. These are usually backlogs or things that are coming up that I have not yet assigned. You also can see your assignee, the due date, which by the way is the due date of the blog post because that is the final step of the content being done. 
episodes to be able to make the distinction between the YouTube videos. The asset folder, that is where you add your link to all of the assets in reuse Google Drive. You can use Dropbox or any other storage solution. We then also have a custom field for the YouTube publish date. That way I easily can see in this row when is what going live. The YouTube link, as you can see down here with videos that already have been published. Once the video is published, you just add the YouTube link. It's gonna make it easier for the VA to write the blog post and find which video you actually are talking about. Because often enough, the name that I run with right up front here is the initial name when I come up with the idea, not the final YouTube name. And it's probably not going to be the final blog name either because you want to title things differently on YouTube than on blog just because the SEO works a little bit different and all of those things. But that's a whole nother video. We then also have the blog publish date, the blog link, as well as the date when our evergreen marketing campaign for that content content piece starts. And last but not least, you have another custom field as a drop down for the stages this content goes through. All of this allows you to visually really pay attention what's happening in your content funnel. When does what need to happen? Where does it need to happen? Where is all the information? Where is all the content? It's all right there. Now, after I recorded my video, this task gets a Signed to my dream team to get the video edited. Once they are done and they send it over for me to prove, I sign off, everything is uploaded and ready to go. It goes then over to my VA who takes care of cleaning up the transcript and takes care of writing five of the content pieces for social media to be able to throw all of this in our evergreen queue and then get it into the newsletter and keep marketing all of this. Now, this is the rough overview you and you are more than welcome to grab this template for all of this so you don't even have to worry about setting it all up right below I added a link for this and this will get you started with the whole setup and really building this workflow and allow you to in combination with SOPs right there to hand off content creation to know exactly what needs to happen where it needs to happen where how when what why all of the things you now have a full on roadmap. And in the next video, I'm going to walk you through the actual task process that happens in those specific pieces of content. But with that, you are perfectly set up to rock your social media management and stop wasting time. Now, if you've made it this far, Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when my next video comes up talking about the actual task that's happening in here and the workflow for each and every single one of these content pieces because you don't want to miss out on that. And if you like this type of content, give me a thumbs up so I know to produce more of this for you.